Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Grow, Glow and Graciously Empower, where I come to you with leadership advice on how to be a more gracious and assertive leader. Today I'm coming to you from Sacramento, California in my hotel room, where I'm gonna to talk to you about mindful leadership. So what does mindful leadership mean? It means when you show up in a way where you're mindful of your surroundings, of your environment, of how you're showing up, of how your behavior is impacting those around you, how your energy is impacting not only the room and the space you're in, but the people and how they respond to it. And if you're mindful that you're really responding to and behaving to the greatest good or whatever the need is at that time. For example, I have a colleague who is new, she's a new team member, and she was brought in to manage a project. And the previous team member who managed that project was supposed to leave everything available in a folder, so in, in a virtual folder. So when the client reached out and wanted to know more about the numbers, how the numbers, you know, the numbers came up, I reached out to our new team member and said everything should be in the folder. And she looked and there was no data there. There was nothing to explain what those numbers meant. Therefore, we couldn't speak to the client and to the numbers. My first response in my mind was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're here. I can't believe this is happening. But of course, I had to take a step back and be mindful of how my behavior, what I said in those moments that my new team member was already a little bit stressed about this situation, how was going to impact her what I said. So instead of responding on how I was feeling, I self-regulated, I took a step back, and I said, you know what, the data's not here, it's time for us to jump into the other data, figure out these numbers, and determine what it is that we need to do. So I canceled my meeting that was coming up so that I can work with her throughout the rest of the evening and we can figure out the numbers to be able to provide the explanation to the client the next day. And she felt empowered, we did a great job, but if I would have responded in the way I was feeling and did not self-regulate, it would not have served her, it would not have served me, it would not have served the environment or the situation. So being mindful of how your behavior impacts others because you are the leader of your own life, of other people, but mostly, most importantly of yourself.